Another Kansas Cityan who's written books of haiku and poetry is playwright Frank Higgins. We profiled Frank last summer around the time his play The Taste Test was being staged at the Off-Broadway Theater. Next month, another of Frank's works that has yet to be seen in Kansas City will open at the Fish Tank. It's called Gunplay, and sadly, it's all too timely. In case you missed it, here's our look at this talented man whose house is, well, distinctively painted. So whose idea was it to change? Ours. And what do I tell my board? We made a mistake. You mean I made a mistake. In general, once people get up on their feet, I like to go away and then come back when we're going to do a, a run through so that the actors and director don't feel like the playwrights looking over their shoulder watching them do their work. Because when I was writing the play, nobody was standing in my office looking over my shoulders. You're not sending me to tip up. There are consequences. I'm in a custody fight. You think I'm gonna I was in office? the corporate world for a very long time. And yeah, I remember conference room settings like this. So now I'm Nixon? No. My board will push I down. think he's captured how women go after one another's feelings. They'll go for the juggler. Part of what this play is about, it deals with the externals of when Coca-Cola changed their flavor, you know, to new Coke. But underneath it, what it's about is a play about loyalty between these people. Big tycoon wannabe, big Malcolm X wannabe. The playwright is not usually present to ask questions. You just kind of have to make up what you think would make sense to motivate what you're doing. So it's definitely helpful. No, but you haven't heard this. No matter what happens. The taste test is chock full of historical facts that Higgins turned up in his research. Not so factual might be three women in such powerful posts in the mid 1980s. But hey, that's the playwright's prerogative. As is tinkering with the script's mechanics, even as opening night is barreling towards them. We needed these words to cover a transition. During a break, we came up with this. I still don't have a soundtrack, but I have a namesake, and she's brilliant. And that's your exit point up there? All through the process, we've been adding new things and taking them away when he realized, oh, that didn't work like I thought it was going to. Everything I've done had been for you! And he's very receptive to gauging that dialogue about what am I missing here? You're not sending me to Timbuktu. There are consequences. A soda pop marketing debacle is just one of many topics touched upon in a body of work that stretches across more than 30 years now, not counting the poetry. Early on, the next big thing, based in part on Frank's minor league baseball experiences. Then came the sweet by and by, sprung from a conversation overheard during a West Virginia pit stop. Gwyneth Paltrow, Blythe Danner, and Judge Reinhold starred in its premiere. There have been plays about guns, miracles, Jesse James, and even a spider. But the most successful by far has been Black Pearl Sings, inspired by the field recordings that Alan Lomax gathered across the South in the 1930s. Once again, though, Higgins wrote the roles for women. While it's been staged by theaters from coast to coast, it hadn't played Kansas City until this spring. Black Pearl Sings, I've been very lucky. It's, it's had lots of productions. After my mother passed away, I mean, you know, there was a lot of debt, and that helped, you know, take that debt away, which would not have happened. I mean, if I was writing poetry and if I were not a full-time college teacher or whatever. It's great when the awards come. It's great when the productions come, but that's not what it's about. Okay, if that's the mathematical formula for your play, your play is not going to be any good. Here is the formula for good playwriting is 2 plus 2 equals x, and you leave it up to people to fill in the blank and make some decision about something. So let me just ask you the question. The thing that I, I try to talk to with students that I think is really important is write the thing you can't not write. In a sense, it's, it's not that you find the play, the play finds you. Here's a rubber band question. So did you get a sense? Did you, the author, get a sense of this as we were going through the play? Stretching the rubber band. I always tell people I took a left turn in grad school and that left turn was named Frank Higgins. Uh, his class was just so dynamic and That's he good. understands you know, inherently the, the dramatics of the classroom structure as well as the dramatic structure of plays. He's the Pied Piper of playwriting. <laughs> That turn Nick made at UMKC led him in a different direction and into a whole new career. He is now the marketing director for the Unicorn Theater. 
In 2012, a short play he wrote called Unnamed Lands made it to the finals of the American College Theater Festival. The following year, Nick saw his first Fringe Festival production come to life. Now work is getting underway on Ace of Leaves, one of four shorts that comprise Alphabet Soup coming soon to City Stage at Union Station. You have to um, follow your artistic voice and speak the, the truth that's in you. And for me, that's, that's been about writing LGBT dramas. Do you think you're better than me? Frank helped me get into Fringe, and, and now that I'm here, I'm, I'm not going away. <laughs> I think the main thing that Frank has taught me is that like, if I write something and I'm willing to show it to somebody, someone will want to do something with it. If you, but you've got to kind of put yourself out there and keep you know, asking people to look at your stuff and give you the feedback. <laughs> so when she gets married, her name will be Marcy Darcy. <laughs> I was just writing a scene for playwriting class and people responded well to it and said that they would be interested to find out more about these characters. I could filibuster. I started kind of exploring further and adding things and um, over the course of probably a year and a half is how long it actually took me to write all the scenes of it. Spending some time in a real life teacher's lounge gave Stephanie some of the fodder for her play about the age-old conflict between high ideals and career advancement. Higgins' playwriting class helped with a lot of the practical stuff. You, you have to make time and you have to write. You know, you have to force yourself to sit down and write and finish it and block out the distractions. He gives us a lot of good tips for ways to do that. I've never had a teacher who's, you know, talked to you for three hours about your play, just on your own. It's just like going on and getting into the meat of it. What happens in this scene? That's what I loved about the, the MFA program at UMKC. There, there were so many of us poets and nonfiction writers and you know, playwrights learning from each other and, and very supportive, and Frank was definitely at the center of that for me. Okay, I'll, I'll just say Karen's class. When he's not the man at the blackboard, around a table or in a seat watching one of his plays being produced, Frank Higgins is simply the man in the Van Gogh yellow house surrounded by the artists and icons that inspire him, doing the kind of work that still brings him joy. If you write a poem or if you write a short story and somebody doesn't like it, it's kind of abstract, you hear about it. But if you're in the theater standing at the back and they don't like it, I mean, if it's a big theater and there's 400 rear ends moving at the same time because people are bored, that's a message. Do you know the Chinese symbol for crisis? If something goes well, like for example, just this sound, you know, so whatever it is, something, there's some surprise in the, the plot. That might sound minor, but if you've got four or 500 people who all go at the same time, I mean, that's a fantastic feeling, like, ah, it worked. Frank Higgins' Gunplay, which involves lots of short segments exploring different aspects of firearms, will run at the Fish Tank from March 4th through the 20th.